Welcome to MMA Draft, ladies and gentlemen. You are watching the Spotlight of the Week. I'm Frank Tring, and this week we are highlighting Adam Nijem. Yes, you've heard that last name before, his brother Ramsey, who is actually a close friend of his as well, from what Adam is telling me, fights in the UFC at 155. Adam, is that true? You and your brother are actually friends? Dude, man, we hang out all the time. Everyone everyone always asks us, too. They're, you know, they're like, do you guys always fight? But, you know, we get a fight in the, in the practice room, so... You know, we can be friends on the outside, go off-roading. That's what we did a little bit of today. Oh, good. Fun, yeah. Okay, now you're up there training up at the pit in uh, Orm, Utah. Tell me some of the guys besides your brother that you train with every day. I train with Court McGee every day. Uh, Steven Seiler, you know, you know he, he's he's 3-1 three, three and one now in the UFC, so he's uh, he's doing good. Then we got Brock Jardine, who fought Rick Story, and then also uh, Kenny Robertson. And... Wow. Uh, then we got Rad Martinez, who fights for Bellator, yeah. and Josh Berkman, who just won in the uh, World Series of Fighting. Yeah, he's knocked out, he's knocked out uh, Aaron Simpson. He had TKO yeah. Aaron Simpson, yeah. Well, that's a pretty good room. That room's kind of salty. Yeah, dude, it's it's intense to be, the, you know, just a young buck, the young buck in there. I, I take a beating sometimes, but, you know, it's good for me. You have a 2-0 amateur boxing record as well as a 1-0 amateur MMA record. Are you going to keep doing both at the same time? Are you going to try to focus more on MMA or, or keep moving towards the boxing room? You know, I'm, I'm going to do more, uh, I'm going to just do as much amateur competition that I can. I'm mm -hmm. going to do lots of jits tournaments, Muay Thai fights, boxing. Just, you know, the more competition that I get, the more comfortable I'll be in the cage. So, also going alongside with MMA. So. Okay. Now, what, why, why MMA? Like, why, why do you turn to MMA? Because usually a lot of guys that do boxing, I got to stick with MMA, I'll just stick with boxing and, and forego MMA because... It seems in the onset that you make more money doing boxing at the lower ranks than you can doing mixed martial arts. You know, it's honestly just what I like better. I love I love wrestling. I've wrestled since I've been in third grade, all the way through high school. So I have I have a lot of, I have quite a few years years wrestling. So I've always loved wrestling. It's been like my passion. So to just mix in the boxing also, you know, it's just gonna help my hands because I you know I started out as a wrestler, not a, not a boxer. So I just think it's gonna it's gonna be better for my striking to you know, like do more amateur competition in boxing. Now, I know you and your brother are friends, but do you feel that pressure from him because he's so successful in the UFC and you're trying to follow his footsteps, so to speak? You know, yeah, I, I feel the pressure, but I actually, I respond well to that kind of pressure. And I always have in wrestling, soccer, like just all kinds of sports. I respond well to that kind of pressure. Mm -hmm. And him, he's just going to keep getting better. So that's always going to, I'm always going to be fighting to do it. You know, hang with my brother. That's, that's always what the younger brothers do. Just can they hang with their older brother? And, you know, can I one day get better than him? I don't know. I'm going to just keep, you know, doing what, you know, doing what I need to be doing. And he's going to be doing what he needs to be doing to stay ahead of me. So it'll always be a competition. That's good. It's actually, it'll, it'll make you, both of you get better at the same time. Exactly. Are you still in school? I'm actually taking this semester off. I, it was really hard to balance, you know, training full time. I, I train like a professional fighter. I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm one and all MMA, but I train like a professional fighter. You know, I have two days couple nights a week and wow. practice every single day so I trained like a professional fighter I was going to school full time and then I was also working I work over at the pit also so oh, wow. I uh, you know I, I was working a lot so it was really hard to balance all three at once so you know I kind of took school off this semester but I'll be back in the fall you know I, I really want to get my bachelor's degree uh, what do you want to get your bachelor's in in business okay and what do you do at the pit work-wise I uh, so in the mornings actually I go in I clean up the pit so I do a little bit of the dirty work and then uh, later at night, I'm the sales rep there, so I sell memberships to, because the pit, you know, it's not just an MMA gym, right. we have a cross pit, yoga, Pilates, and all that, so I'm able to sell it to, you know, just anyone that comes walking through the door. From a MMA standpoint, what do you think you have to train the hardest to make the next step up, to go from amateur to the pro level? You know, being that I, I haven't done it for a very long time, I've done it for less than a year, but I'm catching on pretty quickly, I feel like, so... Just doing exactly what my coaches and my teammates, you know, I have, I have a lot of I have a lot of people I can look up to in our room. Like, you know, we have Court, Ramsey, I look up to my brother a lot. And what they advise me to do, you know, and also, also our coach, Jason Merlick, you know, they advise me to do, you know, everything. And I follow it, and it's worked out so, it's worked out well so far. So I'm just going to keep doing that. Well, thanks for coming here with the MMA Draft and being the spotlight of the week for us. I really appreciate that. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Adam Nidjum. You're going to be able to see him. I have a feeling you're going to see him a lot of high-level amateur stuff here before too long. And then I think about a year or two, maybe three, you'll see him start breaking into the pro ranks after he gets his bachelor in business. You know it, man. You know, work hard, work hard first and I can play later. Beautiful. Thanks for coming out, Adam. We'll talk to you soon.
Thanks, man. I appreciate it.